Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to some more Dokkan Battle. The 7th anniversary is in full swing over on the global side of the game. I think that's exactly what I said in the other video, huh? Isn't that funny? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, we have lots of really exciting events going on, and oops, no, not that one, that's always available. Uh, so we've got uh, tons of like difficult events. We got the red zone finally on global so global players can finally experience the um, the <laughs> uh, The fun of red zone, I guess. I don't know if, it, if that's what you want to call this mode <laughs> But um, we do also have very various other events like a uh, new boss rush stage. I'll get into this in like its own video and uh, we have new missions for the Fighting Legend Vegeta event, new legends for the legendary uh, GT Goku event, as well as some story modes too, but one of the most exciting things in this anniversary to me will be this new, uh, this new event for uh, collecting skill orbs for Goku and Vegeta. This is a daily event that you can participate in once per day, um, obviously. And this is a really, really good event. So I'm gonna take a look at it right here. So this attempt can be, this event can be attempted once per day and you can use it to get exclusive skill orbs for Goku and Vegeta units. And I believe that these skill orbs can also be used on like, basically like any unit with like Goku or Vegeta in their name, if, I, if I'm correct about that. Uh, yep, characters whose names include Goku or Vegeta, yep. Um, and it, it's like excluding like the junior, uh, Captain Ginyu, Zamasu, etc, you know. But, um, you can, uh, put these on like LR, like Goku, Vegeta, that you can use these on the seven year LRs. And it's very, very exciting because these seal orbs that you can get are actually really really good skill orbs unlike old events where i think you could get like like let's let's take a look at some we actually i have some uh, skill orbs from some of those events uh i believe the universe 6 one is one i played a lot uh let me just see i'm pretty sure uh let me just find it oh here we go here we go yeah uh here's a level three crit for universe six category unit now this is good for you know universe six category units but it's not like the craziest, you know. It is level 3 crit, which is super solid, but it's not like any of like the big game, like level 5, um, like crits or additionals, or like even like the silver level 5s. But in this event, they actually, you can actually get level 5 skill orbs for crit and additional for Goku and Vegeta units, both gold and silver. And, and that's like, <laughs> that it's it's obviously it's rare but like it's insane like it's like that's why i recommend everyone should play this event every day because you need to if you can just get like one of the level fives of like silver or even just like gold uh you win basically and what makes these even more crazy is that because they are um these skill orbs are like all unlike the like the usual skill orbs like um Here's this right here. It's a level three crit for physical units. Uh, in case you don't know, um, uh, there is no level, so you can only put this on like physical units. But with these ones, pretend this is like a Goku or Vegeta one, uh, you can put this on any Goku and Vegeta, and that would include Goku's and Vegeta's who already get the let's say crit from their hidden potential, uh, like the 55%. So I'm explaining this weird, but basically, um, units who, um, different units, like, depending on their type, have, like, the built-in, like, five, uh, stat. Like, here, here's Cooler, he's a physical unit. He has a built-in level five additional. And because of that, Cooler does their, because he's a physical unit, uh, there are no physical, uh, additionals. There's no additional skill orbs for physical, because physical units already get additional from their item potential system. Same thing goes for a unit like uh, Gogeta, this tech Gogeta. He is a tech unit, so he gets five crit from his hidden potential system. Therefore, as a tech unit, tech units do not have crit in their silver um, 
for their silver skill orbs. And then obviously int units you can't get you can't get five dodge silver for int because int already has the five dodge as you can see here. So because these Goku and Vegeta skill orbs can you can get like a level five silver for like crit additional anything and they're not type specific. You could put a uh, like you could put like additional onto a unit who already has five additional. And the one I'm thinking of like the most right here is our boy uh, AGL UI Goku. So UI Goku is an AGL unit, so he has five additional from his hidden potential. Therefore, he cannot get five additional from the silver orb, which sucks because um, oh, there's actually one right here. This is uh, but this is for like Goku's family. So this is this is exactly what I mean. Because you can get these like level five silvers for Goku and Vegeta's, you can get these. And you can put them on units who can't, like, who wouldn't, under normal circumstances, have the 5 additional, or have the 5 crit, or whatever the best suits them. And for a unit, say, this UI Goku right here, who is, like, he, he has already built-in crits, so getting additionals with him is so much, like, more impactful. Just getting another 5 additional on him is just insane. It's just insane. Or say a unit like STR Vegito. Uh, where is that guy? Uh, where is that son of a gun? I'll show him what. Uh, where is he? Oh, okay, here he is. Here he is. Uh, Vegito, you could argue. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that uh, they prefer crits on this guy because of the counter attacks. I personally haven't built a full like additionals because I think his his raising defense is just more impactful. But if you're one of those like crit guys who think. Uh, you ju just want to prioritize damage with this Vegito, uh, you can uh, potentially uh, a silver level 5 for Goku or Vegeta can drop, and then you can equip it onto this guy who can't normally have one. And that's, that's just crazy. That is so, that's so crazy. Oh, here's a big one. The physical um, LR Super Saiyan 4s, the 7 year LR. They are a physical unit. They have built in 5 additional. The Super Saiyan 4s uh, get like what's like attack effective against all types and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is like unconditionally attacks effective against all types just like all the time. So you want to build them full additional except you know as a physical unit they can't normally get another 5 additional. However, if you get the level 5 silver for either Goku or Vegeta to drop, you can just attach it onto them and then that just makes them even so much better. And that's exactly, that, that, that's the point I'm trying to get across is that it's just, this is why you need to be playing this every day because you can get some really, really, really insane equipment that could help you out in the long run, especially in these difficult events like the Ultimate Red Zone, Extreme Super Battle Road, um, any difficult events you may be struggling on, uh, it could help you out a very, very great amount. Although I do, uh, I have one suggestion for you guys. Uh, I think if you get one of these like five, let's say a five additional for a Goku or Vegeta unit, I would rather suggest you guys to, for you to put it on a Goku and Vegeta unit like that, like AGL, like AGL UI Goku who can't, who can't normally get that, you know, the silver. Like if I got, say I had a level five additional, I would love to put that onto uh, the boy um, STR Super Vegeta. Because Super Vegeta, if you guys don't know, uh, guaranteed crits. So there's literally no point for him to have crits. Uh, you should just give him uh, five additional. But as you can see, he's an STR unit, so he has five crit. That means we can give him five additional. I could just give him five additional. And because but, like this exists and that I can use this as an alternative, that I would rather, I would suggest people rather like try to get one of these level fives from like chain battle. Yes, I know people hate chain battle, but the point is, I don't, we don't know how often this Goku and Vegeta event is going to come back. Uh, it's never returned on JP so far. Like these, these skill orbs, these like really good level five Goku and Vegeta ones could be just like completely exclusive. So that's why I suggest people, if you get those skill orbs, I suggest you save them for units who like absolutely need them and like a level, an alternative level 5 does not exist for them like this Vegeta. So if I get a level 5 additional, like say I have a bunch of level 5 additionals for Goku Vegeta's, 
I will not be putting it on this Vegeta because I can just uh, I'll, I'll pull another one of these eventually I will and I'll just put that on him instead there's really no reason I don't have this on him actually but <laughs> I'm just ranting but to summarize the point uh, this event is really really crazy I recommend everyone play it every day and use make sure if you get these really really good skill orbs uh, make sure that you're using them smartly use them intelligently Dokkan with uh, what's what's the saying I forgot Dokkan safely or whatever I don't I don't remember so enough talk about how great this event is let's actually jump into it uh, I'm gonna bring my link level team right here because just why not uh, there was no like bonus drops for this or anything so we don't have to um, worry about that so you know link level team Woo! okay so oh we got a we got a little bonus right here is this um it's rare i don't know i don't know this is my first time playing this i haven't even watched like the truth and stuff play it so uh oh that's a gold interesting but you know of course i'd rather prefer like the silvers just because of their exclusivity and stuff so let's see hopefully we can get some silvers right here silver can we get another silver no it's a bronze oh well um and also i would probably pr uh suggest people jump into goku because i feel like there's more there's more frequent like better goku and like goku slash vegeta units than there are just vegeta units you know i know uh, right now um the there's the LR, Vegeta, and Trunks right now are the best unit in the game. In which you wouldn't be able to use these, like, the Goku family uh, skill orbs on them. No, of course not. But, like, like they're int. You know, you could... You, you got level 5 crits or additional silvers for them. So, like, like it's not even... Like, that's not... It's like a non-factor to me. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'd strongly suggest just going for Goku. Go for Ku! something i don't know i'm sorry i'm being really cringe this video uh another gold okay um interesting i prefer silvers above all else because i'd rather the higher chance to get the level five silver like crit or additional i really love to put a level five additional onto our ui goku uh so let's see what did we get here anything good oh that is a level five this is a level 5 silver, um, <laughs> not the level 5 silver I was exactly looking for, but that is, the, the, this literally, this could have been a crit, this could have been an additional. There you go, that just shows you how well these can be. And we got a couple of level 3s right here. Level 3 additional, level 3 crit. Wow, yeah, that's really, really good. I don't think there's any unit in particular I would like to put this level 5 dodge on. Oh, uh, let me just see, uh, uh, let's go super int, uh, and search Goku. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, as of now, I don't think there's anyone I really want to put this on. Oh, well, um, collection sakes, why not? So, yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this video. Um, just to wrap up, um, everything I'm talking about, uh, this event is amazing. Recommend everyone play it every day. Uh, if you get one of these really good silver um, crits or additionals, I'd highly recommend you save them for characters who could not get them otherwise from, you know, the regular skill orbs from like chain battle and stuff, such as the the LR Super Saiyan Force for the seventh anniversary who can't get the five additional normally, or you LR UI Goku who can't get the extra silver five additional normally. Yeah, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think of this event. Uh, let me know how it's treating you. Uh, did you get anything good in your first day? Did you get a level 5 additional? But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you like it. I love you all. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.